Greetings! What I'm about to share with you in this video is what I believe to be the fastest way you can defeat Elizabeth on merciless difficulty. And by fastest, I mean take her down in the least amount of turns as possible. So, to do this challenge, these are some of the best personas in the game that you can use to defeat Elizabeth. DLC personas are a must here because of the driver skills. And believe me when I say that I pretty much tested the limits when it comes to this boss fight. With these personas, I managed to bring down the game super boss on the hardest difficulty within just 4 turns. But before we get too ahead of ourselves here, a few preparations aside from persona fusions actually have to be made in order to beat this challenge. Okay, so the first preparation of course comes before even entering Tartarus. We have to make sure to take a quick trip to Club Escapade and receive the Soul Fortune reading, which lets the Fear Gauge fill up faster. You'll see why this is so important in a bit. The few final preparations that we have to make come in the battles right before we face Elizabeth herself. Just make sure you have a fully banked theurgy gauge for both MC and Fuka. On top of this, we also have to get the Queen's Cup from Shuffle Time to receive Charge and Concentrate buffs for the next battle. Alright, with those preparations out of the way, we now move on to the actual boss fight. Now. Shall we dance? As Elizabeth herself mentioned, learning this fight can be compared to learning choreography for a dance. Elizabeth has a set attack pattern that she will always follow. She'll also switch between her personas in a specific order depending on which phase of the battle you're in. Note that as her personas change, her elemental affinity changes as well. As such, each turn is crucial in this fight as the challenge is trying to defeat her in as little turns as possible. This also means that there are certain conditions that need to be met each turn for us to succeed. Otherwise, it's straight to the death screen. On the very first turn of the fight, there are actually two conditions that need to be met. With our bank Theurgy, We'll start the fight off by unleashing Scarlet Havoc with Sondrion equipped. We need to land a critical hit here or else it's a reset. On top of this, we also need to hit for 7000 damage or more. If not, it's also a reset. This is so that we can trigger phase 2 of the boss fight which happens after Elizabeth's HP hits 13000. Okay, we crit her for 7000 damage. Now what? Next. We need to rely on Fuka's Theurgy to charge and concentrate. If she buffs you with Heat Riser, you know what comes next? Yep, that's right, a reset. On the same turn, we also switch to Johanna. She must also land a crit with God's Hand or else. After this, Elizabeth will unleash her first Pixie Megidolaon, which are always insta-kills so Enduring Soul on Johanna is non-negotiable here. Turn 3 of 4. This is where our level 2 pixie comes in. Now if you're not familiar with this boss fight, Elizabeth will have rules that need to be followed or else she spams her insta-kill Megidola on. An example of one of her rules is that you can't nullify any of her damage. This includes draining and repelling. Now normally we follow these rules, but we will actually be abusing this rule on the turn after she uses her first Megidola on. This is so that we can skip phase 3 which happens after her HP falls below 10,000. In phase 3, Elizabeth will heal back up to full HP, so our goal here is to skip this phase entirely. That brings us to the last condition that must be met. The last condition is that we must reflect Thor's god hand and have Elizabeth's HP fall below 10,000 with the reflect damage. If her health is still above 10k after reflecting, yep, you guessed it, it's another reset. So once the stars align and all the conditions are met, a perfect smooth run would look something like this. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to leave a like. And maybe even consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing more Persona 3 reload challenges in the future. Alright, enjoy the boss fight! Magnificent! Your power is every bit as impressive as I'd hoped. But the curtain has just risen. Sh Shuffling the deck. No. Your fate is in the park. I'll go with. Alright. Juno, hear me. Please help them. Do 
the deck. believed I could find my answer by challenging someone stronger than me. Alas, I was mistaken. I have received no such revelation as to who I am, not even in defeat. a request let's hear the results <laughs> very well then you have my thanks 